in the early Linux days, there were a number of people like, well, you know, it's not a real Unix, it's not real software, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and there were a lot of perfectly valid points on why it wasn't, right? Who am I going to get support from? You know, um, how, how can I trust randos on the internet to write my mission critical software? And what's really interesting to me is that we never found a good answer to that. What happened is that it became almost compulsory, right? So uh, if you were in, if you were in an IT department, the, the people who believed that software had to produce that way retired, you know, um, and other people who understood that this was the way software was produced just took their place. And we never really got a good answer. Like who, how can you trust renders over the internet to produce software? But in the end of the day, it didn't matter because it was simply better and it was there and it was ready when people needed it. But that process took 20 years. So, you know, when I look at Bitcoin, I kind of look at it as through the same kind of lens, right? You know, it, it will not meet all the criticisms that people have of it, but ideally it will have its niche and people will end up discovering, hey, this thing is really useful. And, you know, progress is made as people age and retire, frankly. Um, there'll be some people who will never come to Bitcoin and that's fine, you know? That's, that's just always the way it's been, right? Progress happens as, as more people, more new people come on the scene, uh, doing different things. So, you know, I guess the other important point along those lines is that in the early days of Linux, we knew exactly where we were going, right? Linux was going to go on the des desktop, right? It was us against Microsoft, right? Linux was going to be Linux versus windows was clearly the battle that was, that everyone was prepared for, right? And that was what we thought we were doing. Uh, it turns out we weren't, right? It turns out we killed the other Unixes, but uh, we never defeated Windows. And you know, nonetheless, you know, despite that, however, all top 500 of the, you know, the top 500 supercomputers in the world run Linux. And, you know, uh, it's, it's probably the most widely distributed um, operating system, certainly serious operating system, uh, high-end operating system on the planet uh, of all the Android phones and everything else. So, you know, and a serious amount of the internet you know, is served on Linux and that's just a given now. So, you know, uh, sometimes you win in ways that you don't expect and the obvious, the things you think that you're, you know, the, the battle that you think is coming is not the one that actually is there. So I guess the, the moral of that is that if you're producing something worthwhile that you think is actually really useful, it will generally find a use. It just might not quite be what you were expecting it to be.